Hello, good afternoon, and welcome. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Johnny Mac, and for those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome back. I missed you all. So this morning in the early AM, the developers rolled out the 1.0.3 update, and I released a video on that. If you missed that one, click the card right up here and it'll take you to that video. But I had mentioned that I think there's probably a couple things that not everybody's thinking about and we're talking what's gonna happen in the future. And it's not a matter of if it's gonna happen, it's a matter of when. So let's go ahead and dig on into it. As always guys, if you find this video helpful and you think I've earned your subscription today, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like and also give that notification bell a little tickle. All right, everybody. So as I'd mentioned before in my previous video this morning, I do believe that there are a couple interesting aspects that really aren't a matter of if they're going to happen. It's more of a matter of when. So for instance, let's take the example of the rollbacks that were done in this patch this morning for the regions such as like the fluxes and the sandpaper. In the previous patch, they actually buffed those drop rates in which they were, you know, just dropping an exuberant amount. And prior to that patch, it was something that a lot of people were actually using to farm and actually supplement their income in the game. As soon as they made those regions drop a lot more, it drove that value down. So what we have now is now we've got a nice little uh, supply and demand upset once again with this newest patch so now those regents are a bit more valuable which makes it nice however there's another aspect to what is potentially coming in and like i said i don't think it's a matter of if i think it's a matter of when is these server transfers everybody's wanting these server transfers however what we do know is that the server caps on all the servers are pretty much in comparison to any other mmo very low so i think right now the cap is at 2500 so with that being said if you have a bunch of server transfers you're going to end up with server transfers that are going to leave some feeling a little bit naked probably a little bit barren and the economies along with those server transfers are going to madly fluctuate as well so if you get servers that are really really populated and you have a bunch of uh, players transferring out of those servers, all of a sudden now the supply and demand chain has been upset and now things are going to take on greater value and it's the exact opposite on servers that have a very low population. Servers that have a very low population, things tend to be a little bit more valuable, right? Because that's supply and demand. There's not as many people playing, so therefore there's not as much resources to go around. So typically, you know, in in Granted, you know, normal supply and demand chains, less supply equals higher demand equals greater value, right? So what you end up with is you end up with this big economy debacle. Now, the next thing, like I touched on just a few minutes ago, is that if you have these highly populated servers, everybody all of a sudden, does, you know, they don't know what other users are doing. So you could end up with these mass exoduses and all of a sudden, what do you do then? So you end up with a, a bare naked server or a server that seems to be way less populated now. So is it really solving anything? Yes and no. What it is solving is it's, it's kind of solving the debacle of, oh, hey, I really wanted to play with my friend that's over on this server, but I'm stuck on this one. So now you're on the same server as your buddy, but now you end up with other servers that are left destitute, right? So what we end up looking at here, guys, is that we're gonna end up seeing server merges happen probably sooner rather than later, in which case I think it's actually right on schedule because usually a lot of server transfers, you know, or sorry, server merges happen around the three to six month time span anyway. So ultimately we're gonna have a period here of probably a good couple months there's going to be a little bit of chaos. There's going to be this up and down fluctuations in prices on the trading post. 
and you're going to end up with like you know these servers that don't have a very high population now all of a sudden they're going to end up with medium and high populations i think it's we're just in for a very interesting time and i just kind of want to put my perspective out there and put my feelers out there to see exactly what you guys think about all this but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below do you like the server transfer idea do you think that it's going to cause issues and what do you guys think about server mergers are you guys worried about that at all or are you not i'm curious to know what you think leave your comments down below so that's all I've got for today, guys. Let me know what you want to see from me in the future. I have lots more content planned, but I'm really curious to see what you guys are interested in. And as always, if you found this video interesting and you do want to see more from me, smash that subscribe button, give some thumbs up, and give that notification bell a little tickle. It really helps with the algorithm, and it's an easy and free way of supporting my work and showing me that you like my content. So as always, guys, I will see you in the new world.